When people hear the word firewall, they usually imagine something complex or scary. In reality, Linux Mint already ships with one of the simplest and most powerful firewalls you can use. It's called UFW, which stands for Uncomplicated Firewall, and today I'll walk you through it slowly, clearly, and in a way that actually sticks. By the end of this video, you'll understand what UFW does, why you should use it, and how to configure it safely without breaking your system or your internet. Let's start with the big picture. A firewall controls what kind of network traffic is allowed in and out of your system. On a desktop machine, most threats come from incoming connections that you never asked for. UFW's job is simple. Block everything you don't need and allow only what you trust. The good news is that Linux Mint already includes UFW. In most cases, it's installed but turned off by default. So the first thing we'll do is check its status. Open your terminal and calmly type the command that checks whether UFW is active. When you run it, you'll usually see that it's inactive. That's normal, nothing is broken. Before enabling anything, I want you to understand one important rule. UFW works on a deny by default model. That means once it's enabled, incoming connections are blocked unless you explicitly allow them. Outgoing traffic is allowed by default, so your browser, updates, and apps will continue to work. Now let's enable it. When you turn UFW on, the system may warn you that existing connections could be disrupted. On a desktop system, that's almost never a problem. Confirm it, and UFW will activate immediately. At this point, your system is already more secure than before, but we're not done yet. Now let's talk about rules. Rules tell UFW what traffic is allowed or denied. The most common rules are for services like SSH, web servers, or custom ports. If you're a normal desktop user and you don't run servers, you may not need to open anything at all, but understanding how rules work is still important. Let's say you want to allow SSH access. Instead of remembering port numbers, UFW lets you use service names. When you allow SSH, UFW automatically opens the correct port using the system service list. You can also allow a specific port directly. For example, if an application needs port 80 or 443, you can allow those explicitly. Rules can be very specific. You can allow traffic only from a certain IP address. You can allow only a certain protocol, like TCP or UDP. You can even allow traffic on a port range. This is where UFW stays simple but powerful. Now let's check what rules are currently active. UFW can show rules in a clean, numbered list. This makes it easy to manage them later. If you ever need to remove a rule, you can delete it by its number instead of rewriting everything. This is extremely helpful once you start adding more rules over time. Now let's talk about denying traffic. Just like allowing, you can explicitly deny ports or services. Most users don't need this because the default behavior already blocks incoming traffic, but explicit deny rules can be useful when troubleshooting or locking down specific services. Next, let's talk about logging. UFW can log blocked and allowed connections. This is useful if you want visibility into what's being blocked in the background. Logging is usually set to low by default, which is perfect for desktops. You can increase logging if you're debugging something, but for daily use, low is more than enough. Now let's look at resetting UFW. If you ever mess something up, UFW has a reset option that wipes all rules and disables the firewall. This gives you a clean slate and is completely safe. Think of it as an undo button when experimenting. Next, let's talk about the graphical option. Linux Mint includes a firewall application in the system menu. This is basically a friendly interface on top of UFW. Everything you do there translates directly into UFW rules underneath. If you prefer clicking instead of typing, this is a perfectly valid way to manage your firewall. There's no loss of power or control. However, learning the terminal commands helps you understand what's actually happening, and it works on any Linux system, not just Mint. Now let's cover some common mistakes. One mistake is opening too many ports without knowing why. 
If you don't know what a service is, don't allow it. Another mistake is disabling the firewall because something didn't work once. Instead, check the rules, check the logs, and adjust calmly. UFW is predictable. If something is blocked, it's blocked for a reason. Another mistake is assuming firewalls replace antivirus or system updates. They don't. They're just one layer of security. Before we wrap up, let me give you a simple recommended setup for most Linux Mint users. Enable UFW. Leave default outgoing traffic allowed. Do not open any ports unless you actually run a service. Enable logging on low. That's it. This setup gives you strong protection with zero performance impact and no daily maintenance. Now let's bring it all together. UFW is already on your system. It's simple, readable, and extremely effective. You don't need advanced networking knowledge to use it properly. You just need to understand the basics and avoid panic changes. If you're switching from Windows, this is one of those tools that quietly works in the background and gives you peace of mind without nagging you. Take a few minutes, enable it, and leave it alone unless you have a reason to change something. That's the beauty of a well-designed firewall. And with that, you now know how to use UFW confidently on Linux Mint. Clean, simple, and under your control.